Hi all, Cynthia here. Thanks for joining me today. This layout I'm doing is for the new Facebook group that's just been created, which is Crafty Channel Surf. And the first challenge for the group was to um, be inspired, do a layout inspired by a, another YouTuber. So if you couldn't guess by the cotton thread off to the side and um, the colours, I am channeling Missy Whitten for this layout. Um, so she's very, when she does her layout, she generally puts gesso on the background and uses her finger. Um, I have to say that was the first time, a lot of first times for me in this one. Um, generally don't use my finger to put the gesso in the background. I like to use a palette knife, but thought I'd get right into the spirit of the challenge. And I'm using three main colours here, uh, the blue, green and yellow, which is once again very much colours that Missy would use. Mind you, this is quite a dark colour, this one. Um, doing the packaging smooching technique. Um, it starts to look a bit disastrous here for a while, but I keep going and yes, I, I, I like the way it turned out in the end, so it come, all come together well. So the three colours that I'm mainly using here are um, Heidi Heidi Shine, Heidi Swap, Heidi Swap colours, which are Heidi Shine as we all call them. Um, and I also use one Mr. Huey's colours and I don't have the colours in front of me at the moment, but if you want to know what they are, just leave me a comment and I'm sure I could look them up. I'm pretty sure this one's called Peacock, if I remember correctly, a Heidi Shine Peacock. The Dark Blue's Navy. Uh, I'm not too sure whether the yellow is just yellow or whether it's called butter or something like that. And I'm not, and once again, I'm not real sure of the colour of the Mr. Huey's colour. I think I use a Mr. Huey's anyway. Maybe I didn't. And this one here, you don't actually see it, but I get out the yellow here and shake it and there's no cap on it. So as I shook it, I press the lid and squirt it myself in the chin and down my neck and so I had a little bit of a yellow sparkle to myself. Uh, so I've just put some, sprinkled some dots on there, drying them off and going ahead. So I've used three or uh, four photos um, in the smaller size once again it's a size that you quite often see Missy using I don't have a silhouette machine or any sort of cut file creating machine so I when I got these old Heidi swap pencil um what are they called? Stencil type of things out. I thought, oh, maybe I could back those. And that's my version of a, um, a cut file. So I dutifully back all the squares that I'm going to need and I cut the template there up into smaller pieces so I can have it in more than one location or a couple of locations. I think I jumped forward here in a moment and they're all backed and in the spot that I I like. I don't make you watch me back those. As you can see, I'm just using a punch to punch out some circles, sticking it on and then just trimming it up with the scissors. And I only use two colours, a, a blue and that green paper, which also has yellow looking leaves from a palm tree. I think they are, if it's a pattern, something like that on it anyway.
Just use a bit of glue. Well, you know, I thought I jumped forward a little bit, but obviously I haven't. So why I'm doing that, how have you all been? You're all well? You all managed to get a bit of scrapping in? Do a bit of art, journaling, sketching, painting, whatever it is that you like to do? I've got a couple of layouts done in the last day or so. I've been quite productive. This layout come together quite quickly once I got going, which is good. So I've pulled out this chipboard pieces and I'm pulling off some of the pieces that I think will go well with this layout. So some of them have the same blue green tones to it. So I pull off a few there. I go through this very old chipboard pieces and pull off another couple of pieces in the same tone. Thought I would try to back the papers a little bit more or the photos a little bit more but uh, and I've pulled off a few. I really don't put much paper behind it. If you've watched a few of my videos you'll probably realise by now that I'm not a big one for lots of paper layers. I do struggle a little bit. I often think I should learn how to how to layer, but then again I think, well, I like the layouts that I produce without layer, layering. So I'll stick with what I know, I guess. So I start sticking all this down um, so that's all in place. I start to know a little bit what I want to do. So there we go, they're all in place. I do use this little bit of yellow paper, adds a nice pop of yellow, piece up the top and then another piece down the bottom. So these photos are of our boy. Uh, we went to a, a beach and there was this rope that was hanging from the tree. The tide was certainly was well out and you know he had a great time swinging and jumping but you only land in about the water was only ankle deep so there's no major swinging and bombing and actually looking at the photos now actually see that I've got the order out of place a little bit but that's fine we get the idea of what it's meant to be so I've gone through my embellishments and I've pulled out what I think might go with this layout and it's in that little dish there I start to go through those and then I decide that I better get the cotton thread out and I've never used cotton thread on any of my layouts ever before so other than if I happen to sew on a page so this is a bit of a new thing for me as well starts off all right and then around about here it sort of all went a bit pear shape <laughs> um, but I go back and make that a little bit more cohesive and I do mean just a little bit I love I do love this thread that I'm using the three of them are a metallic thread so they have a nice shine to it um, beautiful thread but the sewing machine does not like it at all it um, you can only sew in small doses before it breaks and gets very twisted but that's okay and generally I only do small doses on scrapbook pages so pull out this summer word which I think is from a Kaiser Craft ephemera pack a few of the pieces I use here are from the same pack so that's sun and fun or sun and sand die cut up the top that's also from the same pack pull out the flare I don't have a lot of flares and the only flare I had that went with this page was that yellow one I thought well I suppose I better put that on the page Missy does use a lot of flares go through this 
Heidi Swipe, Heidi Swap sticker sheet and the um, clear vellum stickers. And there's quite a few there that have the yellow and blue tone, so I put that on the page. I realise, you know, I'm starting to get a bit of a circle theme happening here, so I run with it and put everything on that is circle. I think this one just says a breeze. That's what it said, breeze, and I thought that was quite appropriate, being at the beach and it was a bit breezy that day. Just start to glue everything in place. I've got it looking somewhat the way I like it. That piece is also from the same Kaiser Craft ephemera pack or collection pack. Collectibles, that's what they call them, don't they? Collectibles. Popping that summer word up on a bit of foam as some of the chipboard pieces there and, uh, have a bit of height in it and that middle photo um, with the second from the left I also popped up on foam. So just to give it a bit more height and dimension. Add a little bit more cotton underneath that flare because it certainly wouldn't be a messy layout if you didn't put cotton underneath a flare. Not that I'm sure she does it every time but she does do it a bit. It is her signature thing to do. Layouts start to come together and look quite well. I think I've just added a few more buttons on around. I decide that green button's a little bit too bright, so I go through my container and try to find another button that I think matches the colour a little bit more. And I find one or two buttons. I can't quite remember now how many I do. But this layout's pretty much coming to an end. It's getting very close. I think I do a little bit of journaling down the bottom now. Oh yes, I'm at a back mount the layout. So I go back through the paper pad and find a um, blue one that I've used before. In fact, on my last process video, I probably showed that being cut out. And decide that that blue goes perfectly well with this layout. So I use that. Just packing up here, tidying everything away. Did want to use that uh, circle that's on there that says something best. I thought, oh, might be able to put, pit, might be able to put that on this layout to get your words out. Um, but no, I don't use it. Stick this on. There it is, all stuck down. Come up with my title. Pull some things out. Now you go with these these lovely green foam. Thickers and just put fun down so the title is Summer Fun. And that's it. I do my journaling and that's the end of the layout. I hope you enjoyed this layout and thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Just finishing this up. I don't think I make you watch it all. No, that's it.
Okay then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.